let's uh, look at uh, what are the output file generated by abaca solver so once we have this uh, input file that is uh, the job is submitted to the abaca solver so abaca solver goes through your uh, input deck file and then it solves for it so once the analysis is complete or you will get uh, the set of files so out of these files i will uh, brief you about the what are the important essential files for our use so to start with we have this dat file so dat file is in ascii format okay so you can open it in wordpad or you can open it in textpad also and uh, this file is important to understand is there any error in input file keywords or any syntax error so if your input your input file happens to have some error related to keywords definition or anything with the syntax so those errors so first thing the run will not go through it completely so it will abruptly halt with the error message it will say simply the job did not complete so in that case you have to open the first you have to open the dat file and look for any error in the dat file okay and uh, anything error related to keyword syntax you can uh, you can see you can you can readily make out okay, okay this is something related to keyword so you can fix that uh, prob issue in uh, your input file okay and then uh, if your input file happens to have a node print request okay for a, for example we in uh, last uh, slides we also looked into the star node print option so if you have a star node print options for a specific say reaction force request so those reaction force request will be written in uh, that file so i will just show you so this is so if you recall we discussed about uh, having this star node print option keyword uh, requesting the reaction force for this set of nodes okay and once we have this node press star node print so we have to open the dat file and in dat file usually in the bottom of this file you will find the tabulated uh, reaction force data for this uh, node id so these node ids are nothing but set of this uh, this uh, node set and you can find this reaction force 3 that is uh, in g direction okay so this is about the dat file and uh, the next uh, important file is the status file so this is a uh, file created from the analysis so once we have the analysis is started the status files will be generated and it will be keep updating till the analysis is finished and in in status file it's a, it will give you the progress of the analysis and it is again ascii format you can open it and usually what it contains is the information related to load step and time step and you also understand what is the percentage of uh, uh, analysis is completed okay and uh, the next important file is uh, message file that is star.msg file so if you were uh, any error related to your solving process then that error particular error will be get registered in the message file so you have to open the message file and look for you have to simply search for error and then you just type in the error then it will your cur cursor prompt will go and stop at the error and then see what is the error comment and accordingly you can fix it so again all this you can do because it is in ascii format so being in ascii format you can simply open it in textpad and look for the error and fix that error in the message file if there is no error then uh, it will just say job is complete okay so if there is no error then then obviously you no need to go go and uh, check the message file so it it we presume that it, everything is fine and finally the odb file this is a result database file and this is used for all the post processing all the results and it is in binary format so you can you can read it in abacus cae and uh, look for the nodal displacement control plots stress control plots all the details you can uh, get uh, from this odb file and also this odb file is also can be read it uh, read it in uh, another uh, hyper uh, view there is a post processor from altair so that can also be uh, used for post processing this is about the output file generated by abacus solver in this video we have looked into the fundamentals of fem and the 
overview of the Abacus input file and finally we also seen uh, what are the output files generated by the Abacus solver and the the out of that output files what are those essential files which are of our use and and how to read those files so all this uh, information I think you will find this useful and uh, I hope by watching this video it will give you a good start to the linear static analysis how to perform linear static analysis in in Abacus using uh, uh, all these uh, critical keywords so you go ahead and uh, try your hand to pre prepare a linear static an analysis uh, input deck okay so, so you may refer this again and again as this is a video uh, with you and if suggestion or comments you can make email us on abacus acumen at the rate gmail.com importantly don't forget to like our youtube channel and our facebook page thank you so enjoy your time bye bye